In a previous screencast we looked at the paired samples t-test and we use a paired samples t-test when we have paired data. So when we get two measurements from one group of participants. This time we're going to look at the independent samples t-test where we get one measurement from two groups of participants. And the example I've got here on the screen is male and female grip strength scores. So all we want to know is is there a difference between male and female grip strength? Now because we've got two sets of scores and we want to know the difference between those sets of scores we're going to use a test for differences and that is of course a t-test. So independent samples, independent samples t-test. And these are very simple to run so if we go to SPSS I've already inputted the data into the spreadsheet. Now remember about your different data types here Notice the way that I've entered the data into the SPSS spreadsheet. All my male data has been labelled number one. And then beneath that I've got all my female data which is labelled number two. And then I've got the actual grip strength data that corresponds to males and females next to it. If we click on variable view we've obviously got our variable labels listed there. But what we need to do is we need to change our measures. So our first measure for gender is actually nominal because we've assigned numbers to discrete categories, male to one, female to two. Our grip strength data though is scaled. So if we go back to data view, to run the analysis we need to click analyse, we're going to compare the means and there we have independent samples t-test. So our grouping variable is going to be gender. When we define our groups, we just click this button underneath there. So group 1 we've called numbers 1, and group 2 the females we've called number 2. We continue, and our test variable of course is going to be grip strength. We click our options, make sure that the confidence interval percentage is set at 95%, which it is. We're going to click continue, and then we're going to click OK. And SPSS will run the analysis for us. The first thing we get, of course, are our descriptive statistics, so we can see a clear difference in the mean values for males and females. It's roughly 20 kilograms worth of grip strength difference between the males and females there. Quite similar standard deviations. The thing we're really interested though, in, though, is the, excuse me, the, um, the significance level. So we're going to assume equal variances. Um, because we're using a parametric test. So all we need to look at is this column here, the significance column. So remember, if our significance value is less than 0.05, then we have a significant result. And we do have a significant result here. So we're assuming that our data is normally distributed and that the variances between the data are equal, so it's significant. But also, even if the variances weren't equal, we still get a significant result here. So we can confidently conclude that males have significantly greater grip strength than females, which we would probably have expected anyway. But that is the independent samples t-test.